Okay, guys, it's show and tell time. Now, I don't want to disturb that because that is going to have a picture in there. But this is ready to come out. So we'll do this one first. It is perfectly executed to this one. Now, what it will be, will be. I don't know. I want it as a Christmas tree. Now, it could go up on the wall, I suppose. It doesn't have to go in the stand. And, ooh, I think it's going to be pretty. Pretty, pretty. My little pretty. As Sherry, oh, that is nice, Sherry. As Sherry Moulton would say, pretty, pretty. Now, how do I get it out without disturbing that one? Let me just take this one out. Because I don't want the resin disturbed in that one. Ah, perfect. Now, I think this is going to be very, very pretty. We've got some drop action. I've got some drop action. I've got a nice cream backside, which is good. And there's nothing to stop you hanging this on the wall with your picture frame. Oh, I can see some lovely little action happening. Now, that should be okay. That's going to have my mother's photo in there. And I'll fill that up with... Um, I have to go to a library and get one printed out. But it's only going to be in black and white. Oh, well. Now. <laughs> wait, your, wait your turn. Hang on. Let me grab your stand. Now, this stand is pretty darn good. It came out nice. And I think we've got the same effect. That'd be a miracle. Now, I'm just going to put that down there. Yeah, you're not seeing it yet. Now, keep your shirt on. You're not seeing it yet. Now, come here, my little pretty pretty. One little runoff. One little overflow. Two. It filled up just the right amount. Just the right amount. Now, you know that hangs there. That hangs in there. This is a Christmas tree one. Now, my other new subscribers channel done this yesterday. Ooh, it crackled. It crackled, crackled. Oh, look at that lovely effect. Couldn't do that again if I tried. That's the mica powder. Silver. Silver. What other colour did we use? And the white. The whites on the tips, you could not get that again in a million years. That's, um, it fits. It fits. It fits. <laughs> I'll, I'll tag a picture of that. Oh, I love that. Oh, the crackle effect at last. It crackled beautifully. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That's the mica powder. Red, green, red, green, gold mica powder. Silver acrylic ink. Uh, silver alcohol ink, metallic. A little bit of pitting up there. Well, that's all right. I don't mind that. Barely see it. You can put a top coat on if you want to, but I'm not going to bother it. Now, when you top coat your coasters... And you've got a flat background like we will with this one. Put tape on the back. It drips. Trust me. Oh, listen to that sound. That's beautiful. It's a well-used mould. This must be its 23rd go. Oh, if I get that with this one, I'll be beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Got the perfect little crackle effect. Oh. Now we've just got to get some wire, maybe some big jump rings, then I'll hang Mum's picture there. Now, this. Now, this is not going to be the same as yesterday's one. It's a little bit deeper too, and it's flatter. Much flatter. Now, I'll have to put a top coat on. I'll use the UV resin. I'll put some tape across so it can peel off so it won't drip. 
Look at that perfect little background. Lovely dark green. That's uh, the light green with black ink and the black mica powder. I've got the other one now. So. No, you've got to make a mess in crafting. You've got to get in a mess. I believe in you. One, two, three. Oh, ooh, okay, not terrible. No idea. Okay, guys, I'm happy. I am happy. Still not the effect that I was going for with the bloom. But how do we get blooms around there? And it's different from yesterday's. Wow. Now, I'm going to put a top coat. It should not drip onto the back, but I will put some tape on the back. You never know what you're going to get. Now, I did the lines through, and you can see that. That's a perfect Christmas star. You could not do that again. No one can copy that. That is a one-off original. Now, also with the resin top coat, scuff it up. You've got to scuff up the top. Otherwise, this is a bit of sandpaper. Scuff it up and it comes out beautiful. I'll show you the other one. I'll show you the other one. Again, now, this one I did exactly the same way. I put a top coat of UV resin on it, and it's rock hard. I did two coats, because I've mucked up somewhere around here. But also, I've got to clean up the back. You can see the back's got the... I could put a top layer on if I wanted to. Yeah, could put a, could put a little top layer on. But I've got overflow here, so... When you're doing a top coat, tape up your back. Fully tape up your back. Now, where did that bit of sticky come from? Come on, get off my coaster. Now, I love this one too, but this one I did exactly the same way. Um, now, don't scratch it. We don't want scratches. Come on. Looks like we're going to scratch. Got something there. I'll have to get the alcohol spray. Hang on. Let me get the alcohol spray. That should come off. It's the, um, well, it was on the back of it. Now, I'll just get that off. Yeah, that came off. Now, that's two coats of the UV resin. There is a little bit of pitting, but not much. Very clear. It's a very, it's a very clear UV resin. I did two coats. There we go. Oh, he's beautiful too. I love him. But I really don't know how I got those blobs in this one because I, I went right to the edge but, oh, he's gorgeous. We'll put a top coat on. We'll put a nice quick top coat on. But sand it back a little bit. Just make the scratches into it. Come on, we'll take you over there. Sherry's going in the background. Oh, I love my Christmas tree. Oh, perfect crackle effect. Only the second time. I've got two perfect crackle effects. Yeah, I'm a little bit nasally today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look at the drop. We've got the... See that there? The, oh, the perfect Christmas star. <laughs> yeah, it does look pretty, Sherry. I'm watching, I'm watching Sherry Moulton in Canada. She's a Canadian girl. The edging is nice on this one. I filled up the mould yesterday. This, I just had the perfect amount. Now, I'll show you how to do a top coat with a UV resin. 
I want to see what this that comes up like that. That is beautiful. Couldn't be so different if you tried. Two totally done, exactly the same way. Only thing, I've got no gloves, guys, so I've got to be extra careful today. And I do want to go again. I'm hooked. I'm hooked on that technique. <laughs> I did the spirals, and then I did the, uh, with the, um, with a power pop stick. So look that video up. It's yesterday's video. It'll be yesterday's video, but we'll do a top coat together. That's my garden at the end of the waterfall. That one is at the bottom of the waterfall or the mountain. I've got a perfect mountain here. A mountain, I think, and the plants at the bottom of it. But I have to do something with his back. I cocked up his back. Yes, it's a, it's a slang word, I know. It doesn't mean cock either. It's cocked. I cocked up his back. We could put a top coat of resin on that with a green. Yeah, might do that too. Mix in some green. Mix it in the green. Or change it to gold. I might do that too. Oh, yeah, we'll try that. No, no, it won't work. That won't work. It has to be the resin on the back of that. But on this one, the UV resin. Now, I'm going to do that. I'll upload this video. Have you done the end part there? I can see a little bit of... I can see a little bit of missing up at the end there, but it's all right. Oh, no, this is beautiful. Mmm, very shiny. She's making a Christmas ornament, but she's doing it in wood. You know, the wood board she buy? It's in the shape of an ornament. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at this one. I'm looking. Now, I know a lot of people won't like these blobs, but yet again, <laughs> it worked. Okay, happy hands, happy tangling. Another little look at this one. I'll take some photos. That is a crackle effect. Now, I did put the alcohol ink, oh, peacock, peacock blue, peacock, peacock. Yeah, it was peacock blue and silver. Silver, silver, that's what I used. And the red, green and gold mica powder. And the white was the couple of drops of the liquid white that we use. And um, and the other white. And you can see the, like a little garden happening in here where they're dropping and all the rest of it, and the edge. That's my favourite. I think that's my favourite so far. But no, the picture will hang down there. It won't be as thick as that. It'll be a little bit thinner than that. I'll have to get some jump rings, big jump rings. Just look at the thickness of the jump rings. Look at the thickness. Now, I suppose we could put a piece of wire through there. I've got wire. Yeah. Yeah, a piece of wire. And then a jump ring. And that will hold it. Because that's only going to be... That's very thin there. That's only a thin layer. That's only... 
it's only a thin, about a quarter of an inch thick. And I don't think we'll have that same crackle effect. We don't think so. But I don't mind that. It's, it'll look, because that's going to be the front. And you won't see the back anyway. So, oh, gee, I love that. I'm going to try that again, but in a coaster. I'm going to do another one of these in that. Maybe we'll try it with a bit of colour added to the mix. Okay? See if we can get these outer edge will do in the red. And a drop of, now that will make the white pink, won't it? That will make the white pink. I'm thinking, but that fits perfectly in there. That just fits, that just fits beautifully. That is perfect here. Perfect fit. Absolutely beautiful, that piece. <laughs> Couldn't work do that again in a million years. But I swirled it, I swirled it. I swirled the white through and the colour through. That was the other thing with the bubble pop stick. Now we'll do that, we'll top coat that. And I'm thinking it should not do go on to the back, but seeing the back is nice. <laughs> I heard him, I heard him. What? Uh, he does sound like a weird cat. Go check out Sherry. <laughs> Sherry Moulton. Is it one word? No, two words. Okay, that's it. This is turning out to be way too long. Okay, bye.